Strength in numbers, Guardian. Excellent. Two for one. You know, Destiny 2 is nothing if not a game of surprises, twists, and turns around every corner. But honestly, no fever dream that I've had, no hallucinations that keep me up late at night when I think about this nightmare miasma of a game, nowhere on my bingo card of BS did I have Cerberus Plus One turning out to be a sleeper shredder in this current meta. But hey, I guess that's just on me. Next thing you know, it's going to be a Polaris Lance is the best gun in the game. It just one-shots people. Who knows? I mean, anything could happen at this point. If Cerberus is just going to have 75,000 meters of range, then really anything could happen. Traveler's Chosen, best gun in the game. Kvostov might actually just be better than Soros Regime. Who knows? Anyway, today we're going to tip-tap through the fever dreams of my demented mind and show you how to use Cerberus Plus One in the Crucible and why it might be one of the most underrated options you could use right now. So make sure you take a second like the video, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Remember, every like and every comment you leave is one brain cell I save at my weakest points in the night. So help me preserve my sanity by liking and subscribing and commenting down below. Let's just get right into the video. So why is Cerberus Plus One the abomination, the junkyard, backyard, you know, I totally went to engineering school, but I decided to make guns in my backyard to get totally comp by the FBI looking ass auto rifle. How is that suddenly a sleeper meta threat? Well, they both auto rifle range recently, and for whatever reason, they like super juice Cerberus in the process. It used to be that Cerberus really didn't have much past like 25, 30 meters of range due to unreliability, but now I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on, but you know, here here's footage from a private match. Cerberus just holds its damage up to 55 meters. No damage fall off to 55 meters. Now, you're going to struggle to hit things at 55 meters, but, uh, you know, here's, like, you know, a casual 35 meter kill. And, and then, like, you know, 45, not that bad. And, frankly, if you're in a long, out, long drawn-out gunfight, you can still kill him at 55. It's not that bad. So, now we're, we're suddenly working here because Cerberus Plus One is an easy weapon. It shoots four projectiles. You don't have to be very precise. You just need to be in the ballpark. And it still has a good reliable time to kill and when you get up close and personal things get really really stupid Cerberus plus one can kill in two shots you can do a maximum of 100 damage right up in the schmeat of an enemy gamer and they will just get sent straight to the shadow realm it's pretty pretty dope now previously Cerberus still enjoyed that close range shredding capability it's just you could never use it beyond like 20 meters max it was like a last word of auto rifles Really good inside of its effective range, but you might as well just be throwing the damn thing at people once you get outside of that effective range. And now, seemingly out of nowhere, you can just duel at hand cannon range with Cerberus, which opens up its viability immensely. It makes it a fantastic neutral mid-range choice. You're going to be putting out a lot of damage very reliably. You don't even have to aim at the head, just aim at the chest and just let the gun do the work. It's got minimal recoil, decent fire rate, it's got a big mag. You're going to be putting out a lot of chip damage no matter what. So you're just going to rake in so many assists when you're using this. You're like the ultimate team player. And then it just starts getting nastier, right? This is one of the easiest damage boost metas we've ever had. Radiant is so easy to proc. Empowering rifts are everywhere. It's so easy to get charged with light. And you add any damage boost onto Cerberus and you're just off to the races. You are just claiming kneecaps as your personal property. No one can stop you. Honestly, one of the deadliest combos we've had so far. Caliban's Hand, very popular for Hunter right now. 
Don't even think about going for the Caliban's hand multi-kills here. Just use the increased radius and recharge rate of Caliban's to spread as much radiant as you can and then turn the Cerberus plus one into the Cerberus plus one mower and just start cutting down the grass, baby. It's a simple but straightforward and effective option. Obviously, I have to put it everywhere I can, apparently. Peregrine Greaves, Ignition, Radiant, delete someone with the flying knee of justice, and then the Cerberus is ready to clean up whoever's left. It's fantastic. And that's even before we get into the sheer utility of Cerberus as a weapon. Have you ever been annoyed by barricades? Have you? You ever been in this situation where you just see barricade after barricade after lorely spamming shithead titan and you're just tired of dealing with it? Guess what? Cerberus is the Barricade Destroyer 9000. It shreds faster than some special weapons. No barricade will last long if you're around the corner pumping into it. And for all my goblin demon mode stasis mains out there, it's been known forever. Cerberus deletes stasis crystals. If you've ever been annoyed by a stasis user, bada bing, bada Cerberus, destroy those crystals. No Hedra's buff for you, no damage resist, no big explosions. Just absolutely eat my Cerberus. No more stasis ever. It's a perfect solution. Really, Cerberus, when you boil it down, only has a few weaknesses. It's an inherently random weapon, so sometimes you're not going to get the crits that you need, and you're going to get out time to kill. You just kind of have to accept that. You're using a weapon that shoots four shots in a semi-random pattern. It's going to happen. You're going to get hoed. It also, in that same vein, can have a ghost bullet issue, I found. This seems to be a weird issue with low rate of fire auto rifles in general, where sometimes they just don't have good hit ridge. I don't really know how to explain it other than I've encountered it with Fire Frying, Shadow Price, other low rate of fire autos. It just seems to be a thing that happens, and it extends to Cerberus in some cases, but that might just be lag. And lastly, the biggest knock against Cerberus, its catalyst absolutely sucks. I mean, for a long time, the biggest joke catalyst in the community was Maida's old outlaw, but this is worse. Never, ever, and I do mean ever, shift the Cerberus into the secondary fire mode. It does less damage, caps the range, slows the rate of fire. It might as well be a joke option. I think Bungie added it to deliberately gimp the most powerful weapon in existence. Just remember what they took from you. We could have had Cerberus plus one with Desperado, but instead we got the worst catalyst in the game. And I want to forever hold that thought of a desperado Cerberus just shredding through enemies with happy abandon in my mind for the rest of the time. It's a damn shame. As you can tell, we're kind of taking more of a lighthearted, kind of comical mode with this review, because there really isn't much to say. Cerberus is as simple as it is effective. It's just an auto rifle that kills people very effectively. You don't have to overcomplicate this one, you bring your targeting mods, you bring some unflinching mods, you bring your favorite build, and you just add on Cerberus. It really is that easy. It's just take it out of the package and let it rip. Uh, some some things to note though, one final thing to note. Active War Rig gives 30 airborne effectiveness, and Cerberus already has good airborne accuracy just by the nature of it being random. So you could pull off some in-air shenanigans with Active War Rig, and also have the benefit of the bigger magazine while you're spraying and praying with the Cerberus. That might be a fun one to explore. We didn't really try it while we were working for this video. Another thought that I had while we're kind of making the video in progress is obviously Lunafaction Boots. This thing already holds its damage up to 55 meters, so why not make it even further and do more damage? Seems pretty nasty. But yeah, that's it. It really is just a simple, straightforward, great exotic. It used to be trash. It's finally been taken out of the trash can, so wipe off some of the dust and debris and give this one a spin. If nothing else, it's supremely fun. Much like the Jotun, you're just going to have a giant smile on your face while you use it. We highly recommend it. And if you do give it a try, let us know how you like it in the comments down below. What other weird exotics would you like us to review? Let us know and we'll get around to them. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more. My name is Lionarts. Gumi's off in the ether complaining about Destiny matchmaking. It's been pretty bad lately, but I keep on holding them through so we can keep on playing. We'll persevere. We've been grinding a lot of videos. A lot of videos are on their way. We've kind of had some bad RNG on our side, so we've been slowed down in that regard. Red weapon farming is absolutely miserable, but we'll get through it and we'll get those videos out as soon as we can. We appreciate you guys so much, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.